Repeated Strike was a movie that came out recently on Netflix after not knowing where it was going to be for so long. Uh, this is the movie that, if you remember, John Cena had to do an apology uh, to China like a year or two ago. This is the movie that it was the cause of that. So I was I was intrigued with that alone. So the basic premise of this movie is Jackie Chan, who's in this movie because it stars John Cena and Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan is part of a Chinese task force thing that is assigned just to get these people who are working in a oil rig out of there because it's very dangerous. Uh, John Cena is part of a, another group that is hired to kidnap a professor um, who is on that evacuation group because the, the guy they work for wants the oil from the oil uh, rig so he can sell it and make a bunch of money. Uh, John Cena, when he finds out that it wasn't what he thought, he goes, okay, I'm out of here. Uh, and then he meets a Jackie Chan, they have a bit of a misunderstanding, then they decide we're going to work together because their interests align. And that's it. And uh, that's the basic premise of the movie. Overall, I thought it was a fine action movie. It's nothing exceptional. This is not any breaking any new ground in cinema. It is a old school action movie done and there is very much a Jackie Chan action movie style to it with a lot of the action scenes are over the top and all that. They're fun and cool, but they're over the top. And there's scenes in this where you're like, no way, you die, <laughs> you die. Or like, how is this person not dead yet? You know, like stuff like that. But it is a Jackie Chan action movie. So go, go in with that. Um, Character-wise, uh, Jackie Chan's character uh, is... He's good. He plays a, like a father who was away a lot. And uh, his daughter is on this evacuation group. So he sees her again and they have that bit of a, a problem. John Cena's character is... He does these, like, you know, these missions. But really he does it for a good reason. Because he looks after, like, this village out in the desert that's very poor and has no water and stuff like that. Um, you know, so he, he does the bad things, but with good intentions. Uh, the rapport between Jackie Chan and John Cena I thought was good. Like, uh, the way the characters interacted, it was fun. Uh, uh, dynamic between the two. The villain is generic, uh, I want all the money villain. Uh, but I didn't expect the villain to be this, you know, deconstruction of villainy like everyone else does it's an action movie uh yeah so overall i enjoyed the movie thought it was fine don't go into this expecting like a classic this is a old school action movie that you used to get all the time it's that that's what this movie is uh the plot is not complex it's very straightforward a lot of the characters are straightforward um, but there is fun to be had. I did find myself just having a good time. So overall, again, like I said, it's not groundbreaking. I would give this... I would give Hidden Strike. Go, looking at, like, the other movies of the year. I say Hidden Strike is about a 6.5 out of 10. You know? Like, it's fine, enjoyable movie, but I'm never going to think about it after that's what Hidden Strike is. That's the type of movie it is. You'll watch it, you'll go, that's fun. And then you'll forget about it for a bit. And then that's it. But you know what? Nowadays, I, I will take that over most of what we get. So that is Hidden Strike. Let me know what you guys thought of the movie and all that in the comments down below. And uh, that's it.